guys? Welcome back to another video of We Be Fishing. My name is Danny G. I'm here with my wife Nicole. We just picked up a bunch of pinfish right outside of Key Biscayne. And uh, the valley here are here in 30 feet, so we're gonna take advantage and try to scoop up a couple dozen. I always come out with a little bit of frozen bait just in case I can't get on the live bait, but always try to get some live bait. It's gonna make the difference. A couple little blue runners for the flat lines. Never hurt nobody. All right, guys, I got the boat in neutral, just trying to figure out what the drift's doing. Looks like we're gonna do pretty much like a north, northeast drift, so. I'm gonna finish up rigging a couple lines here and then I'm gonna go ahead and set up a drift so I can kind of visualize where the boat's gonna be after a you know mile long drift, half mile long drift. All right guys, just set up our first drift line. She's using a ballyhoo plug. I mean, a live ballyhoo. Right, babe? She's using a live ballyhoo and I'm using a pinfish. Oh, Nicole got whacked. First drop down, baby. Take it easy, take it easy. Damn, that was awesome. Live ballyhoo, that might be the trick today. Although I got like 24 pinfish. but we got tight first drop that typically starts off the day good so let's see I got a nice pinfish on here on the bottom eight ounces of lead about a 25 foot liter if there's something around it's gonna whack this thing everything eats pinfish so let's see what we can come up with 10 feet off the bottom. Just came across a bunch of marks here. It looks like amberjacks. They're suspended off the bottom a little bit. Let's see if one of them sees my pinfish or Nicole's ballyhoo. All right, some just hit my pinfish. Feeling very muttonish. Can I got this here? Yeah, I got it. Come on, you little baby mutton. Oh, it's probably a mangrove. No, it's a mutton. Deeper. First pinfish attack, 60 feet. We'll take them. That drift adjustment work. Screen is lit up. Get your shit down there. All right, pinfish just got whacked in 120 feet. Should be a pretty decent one. Doesn't feel that big, but. Top of the water. What the fuck is it? All right, not what we wanted, but always exciting to catch a big ass cuda. started another drift came back into like 55 feet we worked it from 50 feet to 70 we went all the way out to 180 hit a few different wrecks it was pretty slow so 
see if we can pick something up here. Come on, boo. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, fucker. Still on? Yeah. Oh. Looked like there's something big here. Cole tried to help me out, but she got whacked. I thought mine gave up, but he's still fighting. I don't know what the hell it is. It's probably a shark. I have him perfectly hooked. Oh, I see my fish. Holy shit! Fought like a beast! Close oh. hooked up. Come on. Another hammer jack for sure. Watch your leg. Come get it. Watch that. Amberjacks, man, they fight so good. Okay. All right, guys, I revived that guy as much as I could, and I sent them back down. Ate a live pinfish. Those pinfish is where it's at, man. If you want to catch big fish, you definitely eliminate all the small fish throughout the day with those bigger baits. All right, guys, it's been a pretty slow day, but uh, picked up one nice mutton on the pinfish and um, decent sized barracuda that I'm gonna give to my neighbor. Did a bunch of different drifts along the county wreck, some deep, some shallow. And uh, right here at the end of the day, Nicole and I doubled up on some nice amberjacks, so that was pretty cool. Just happy to get out for a few hours in the afternoon here. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next episode.